All right, ladies and gentlemen. So this is a really cool update. Um, I just kind of want to break down our mindset of what we're actually doing here. So our second episode, we got the engine running and everything, and we actually got it on the road and we're driving it around. Uh, we had new brakes on there, new fuel system, uh, just basically the most like minor stuff um, so we could get this thing on the road and drive it and show that it's actually working and all the systems are working good. Um, now that we knew that the whole system was running, we wanted to do this thing called essentials. So uh, the front main seal is leaking, the rear diff seal is leaking, um, the, uh, on the ends of the axles, all of that was leaking. There was oil all over the rims because of the centrifugal force oil was slowly leaking out and then it was like spreading oil out like those old little color wheels he used to play with as a kid. But anyways, so yeah, we got um, the whole system running and then we found that there were a couple other issues. So like the front main, we've got everything taken out again. I even had to take out the water pump that we put in here. Um, so we are doing a couple, a few steps back in some places but it's not a big deal. So right now, uh, my dad's actually getting a um, flywheel puller so we can pull that off because we gotta get the whole front of the engine off to replace that front main. The rear axle, we got a brand new seal for that thing. It looks really good. As you can see uh, with those powder coated rims, I mean, this thing is looking really good. And then the black paint um, on the axles and lug nuts, it's just looking really good. Um, for me, what I also wanna do is get all the systems working, so all the small things that most people wouldn't notice, like all the lighting, uh, make sure the windshield wiper motors all work, and then the uh, pump for the fluid, that doesn't work. The horn, we finally got the horn to work. Um, the heater's not working, I'm still working on that. And all the little systems that a car makes, a car basically yeah i want to make them work i want i want it to look original like how we pulled it out out of the barn and everything because this is a really special vehicle how it's a one owner uh, from a lady purchased in groveland california she owned it for this in her entire life and then she passed away in 2001 and then my um good friend had it for 19 years in his airplane hangar and he finally moved. We've been nagging him for six or seven years to uh, purchase it off of him and he finally was willing to give it away. I mean, this thing is a beauty. Um, not a lot of rust, uh, super clean. Probably the one thing I could say is this passenger uh, quarter panel was a little dented and you can see that there's some um, Bondo work and stuff, but hey, it's an off-road vehicle and we're gonna have some fun with it. But I wanna give you an update and uh, let's go back to work. We got our step-by-step -step manual here. We are gonna replace the front main seal. Got the uh, grill off. Taking this section off here. Gotta get everything out. So then we can access that front main and replace it because it's leaking like a sieve. Check it out. So right now we got the um, water pump pulled off there. And you can see I keep all the screws and bolts in there um, just so everything is um, going to be put
put together a lot quicker and easier. And then I do have everything loose here, so it's ready to come out. We're just waiting for this last bolt right there to come out, but we gotta get the flywheel off, so we gotta get the flywheel pulley off. And then this guy was a big pain to take off. We had to use one and 11 16 inch socket with an impact driver at the uh, max PSI, like at 125 PSI with uh, heat and it finally came off. So that thing was a pain in the butt, but it finally came off. Now we gotta pop that flywheel off. Then we can take the whole front cover off and replace that front main. Cause you can see it's spewing out everywhere. So we finally have the front of the engine off here and you can see there is a lot of grease here. Uh, I like to say a quarter of an inch of grease everywhere. Kind of feels like it. It's pretty bad. But um, the main reason why we got to take this thing off is you can see that there's these little rivets right here. So there's a rivet. There's another rivet. And you can access this uh, by just pulling the uh, lower pulley out and you can access this. But you would have to drill out all of the rivets and then pull this out and then put in a new seal and then you just put in screws in these holes which is what we're going to do but we want to take it all the way off because when we're drilling these out we don't want the metal shavings to go back into the engine and that's just going to ruin our engine so the first time you have to take it all the way out and then drill it out and then you put in the new seal you're good to go but if you come on over here you can see everything's looking pretty good. You can actually see some fresh gear oil on those two um, chain, or, uh, sprockets right there. I was doing a once over, looks pretty good. But um, down, down here is our oil drain pan. And our oil drain pan has a rubber gasket right here. And it ripped when uh, the front came off and I was kind of expecting that um, Which was fine. So but what I wasn't expecting was uh, this to actually be part of Taking off the front of the engine. So there's three bolts one the and then the other one you can't see and then three So we're gonna have to drop the pan. We're dropping the pan. We're also gonna degrease it as well So uh, let's go ahead and do that All right, Now imagine that this is the front of the engine right there so we pulled it off and here's where it's leaking you can see the grease is all around there and here's the pulley that spins pull that out in this shaft right here is riding up against this seal right here Finished cleaning the outside of it. It's looking a lot better. Now to do the inside, you can see the 50 years of grime here. Look at this. Look at all that sludge. Crazy. There's the dent right there. Things looking pretty good actually see the front of the engine now and it's it's beautiful green color matching the vehicle looks really good we're gonna go ahead and do another once over here um, and get it cleaned up again but you can start to see the color it's looking really nice <laughs> 